Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic and today I'm going to be talking about the 10 Magic Stone Level Limit Breakthrough Super God Fist that has just gone live in North America. So, as a baseline value, Super God Fist costs 10 Magic Stones, which this does, and they feature at the very least a 33% chance for any God Fest exclusive. For this case here, we have a 34.5% chance to acquire any God Fest exclusive, so it's technically a little higher. And then in order to kind of like spice up the appeal of said Godfest, they're going to give all cards that do not transform level 100 when they come out. Coming out at level 100 means you save yourself a single Super Snow Globe. So, for players who are much newer to the game, where Super Snow Globes are, be are quite a scarce resource, this could be a meaningful time to possibly roll. But, with that being said, if you're someone like myself who's played for a tremendous period of time, having Super Snow Globes, at least sing a single Super Snow Globe, is probably not going to make that big of a difference at for myself at least and if we look at the lineup like they do feature other like pretty nice array of like six stars and seven stars and i do want to point out that they are giving out some of the seven star Godfest exclusives who did receive new evolutions their special new form so if we take a look at say blue albrich he actually can come out in his blue form so if you can't beat dimension of the mystics or md1 you can potentially just roll him straight out in his blue form which is the best blue cleric in the game he's actually an amazingly strong card overall and you could potentially just acquire him same idea for Mieda, fagan rye for his blue red form so you don't have to get that hard to acquire invade for the weekday dungeons like it does give some of that time saving so obviously you could possibly get lucky and acquire these cards furthermore the various godfest exclusives that did receive buffs which i'll talk about in a subsequent video are featured here so like the sonia's Dark Cali, like they've received noticeable buffs that do help them out, and you can potentially acquire them as well. We are obviously having like Sophie, Nocteria, Cecilia, like some of those like nice seven by six options for like Sophie. Cecilia is just a fantastic sub that is flexible in terms of her color coverage, and Nocteria is just a wonderful rainbow sub slash leader. And you can potentially roll some nice stuff from here, but again, for myself, I'm less interested at this point in time because. I have most of these cards. I sh will eventually get Blue Albert. I can never find him. I get only Dark and Green, unfortunately, but I'll get it one day. So, like, there's not too much motivation to roll. And furthermore, we know that there are going to be new Godfest exclusives coming. Like, we know Nautilus and Royal Oak, those submarines or boats and whatnot. They'll have other ones coming in the future. So, it may be worthwhile just holding on to that if you're someone with a more developed box. So, in summary, who would definitely benefit from this Godfest? I'd say players with newer accounts who can't acquire those evolution materials to say get Fag and Rye, Albrich to their other colored forms, or those players, again, who don't have Super Snow Globes lying around, you potentially can get stuff coming out at level 100, which in turn saves you some time. But while this Godfest may be just kind of average to mediocre overall, there is one nice and exciting thing. So yesterday was my dad's birthday, and in addition to that, my sister, my younger sister, decided to surprise us all by visiting, and she is going to say hi to you ladies and gentlemen because I have prompted her to come in at some point when I say these things. She is going to arrive on the screen very shortly. Stephanie is coming fast. I hope she is here. Stephanie, where are you? I am saying she is coming soon. We're gonna make it a bigger screen. You can say hello to the lovely ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, don't we look alike? Tell us a little about yourself. Tell us your favorite color. Uh, blue. Fantastic, we, we both love blue. See, we definitely are related overall. Anything else you wanna share with my viewers, what you do or get up to? I really like windsurfing, I guess. That's she likes wind I, surfing. I mostly just windsurf every day yeah. in the summer. Yeah? Yeah. That's about it, really. Fantastic. <laughs> she is an exciting individual overall. She likes blue or purple and likes to windsurf. We've learned so much about her in this short period of time. So, with that being said, hopefully you all have a truly fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures. Say bye to the stellar Stephanie and happy puzzling.